Hi Gemini, this is Magic from Find the Magnificence in You. This is going to be a quick energy update for February 2020. Um, time is cyclical. Um, this reading is technically timeless, even though I will mark it as February 2020. Um, because I can pick up past, present, and future energies for you. Um, this is just like an energy update just to kind of give you an idea of what um, is coming towards you or what you're going through right now. Um, these are geared towards soulmate connections, karmic lessons, um, and, and anything that spirit wants to reveal to you today. Um, but to make a long story short, short, this is just to kind of give you um, an update on your situation as a whole. Um, as you know, this is a general, general reading, so it may not apply. Okay, and if it doesn't apply, please check your other placements, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter placements. Okay, so let's get started. I'm just looking at the pre-shuffle, Gemini. You have an important decision to make. There's deception around you, Gemini. Or you may not be wanting to face the truth about some sort of communication. You're emotional. Um, you have all the tools, right, to make a, an, an important decision here. Um, but you're needing to have the confidence to start something new. You're definitely thinking about it. You're thinking about your self-worth your value here. You may be pregnant here. There is some unfinished business or there has been a cycle where you have been repeating uh, some sort of pattern here. Spirit is um, admonishing you to make a decision. All right. So there is a decision here that needs to be made here, but you are stuck at a crossroads, an emotional impasse. Um, you've been doing something over and over and over. There is a cycle that needs to close. You have been disappointed by something here and you're um, considering missing some sort of opportunity. So there is an offer here. Yeah, but you're not sure if you can take it because it could be tied to some sort of manipulation. Um, there's a lot of pride and ego involved here. Whatever this offer is, whoever's coming towards you is very um, egotistical or this person wants to win at all costs. There's a conflict. Absolutely. You've been waiting. Like I said, you've been reflecting on the past. And you're tired of going around in circles with someone here. Yeah. So this decision is surrounding family matters. There could be talks of a divorce. You're thinking about turning your back and going towards um, the future here. But you're also thinking about possibly um, a do-over or reconciling. So Mercury retrograde is going to be significant for you guys. Yeah. Here is someone offering a new beginning. Yeah. Um... For some of you guys, this is definitely wish fulfillment. Someone wants to come in and tell you the truth, Gemini. Absolutely. Someone wants to tell you the truth, but this person's coming in um, very impulsively. Now, this person is very passionate about whatever they're saying, okay? And they are making some sort of offer um, to you. Um, but you're confused here. Now, that is letting me know that there could be another person involved in this situation, even though I'm not. Yeah, we have the Knight of Swords. Um, and the Knight of Pentacles. These could be two separate people. Let's see. Let's keep going. Tower. So you're avoiding a disaster. There's that offer. And here's the King of Cups. So we do have someone that is in love. This is an emotional offer. There you go, Gemini. You're like, uh-uh. You burnt me already here. You want to stay in control on top of this, Gemini. That's your card, the Magician. Yeah, yeah. There you go. You're not sure if you can. You should invest here or this is about... A foundation that was already built here you're wanting to strengthen or um, there needs to be some sort of cooperation or collaboration here there's money involved here though so there is some sort of money ties here yeah someone here um, is being very inconsistent here but they're wanting to speak some sort of truth I see you consulting a lawyer or um, consulting some sort of legal advice um, or a friend now, this could be you here with the King of Swords here. But again, there's some spying taking place here. Um, you, you're wanting to get information or get you want to get all the information before ending a situation here. Again, there's deception or you are deceiving yourself. You're avoiding the truth. You don't want to make a mistake here, but you're definitely overwhelmed. Um, Gemini, you're overwhelmed. I see you juggling. I see you um, wanting balance. You're wanting this situation to be balanced out. You want it to be fair. Whatever happens, you want it to be fair for all parties involved is what I'm picking up. Let's get the second row for the heart. So your energy is coming through very fluid. Okay, so that's why I'm, keep, I'm going. I might go ahead and do a nine card just to kind of get a, a better view of what's happening. 
Um, Spirit, give me the overall energy for this energy update for February for Gemini, Someone Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Okay, we have the Nine of Cups. So this is about um, emotional fulfillment, but there's an independence coming off of this card. You want independence. You want to be independent of something. And this is about your dreams. Yeah, third eye, yeah. So yeah, you've definitely been getting in tune or your, your spiritual team is communicating to you that you're needing to listen to your intuition. Yeah, and it's about a new beginning, about strengthening a bond in a relationship. Here's your card, the lovers, Gemini. You're definitely confused here, but Spirit is saying, trust your intuition. Seven of Cups, you have an option or a choice, maybe between two people. Right now, you're trying to relax, you're trying to breathe, you're distressing yourself, so you're pulling away, you're, you're focusing on self-love. So you're, there's, there's definitely a break here in communication. You're needing, you're focusing on yourself because you want to make a good decision. Yeah, you're definitely not feeling like yourself. You're, you're, you're a little bit emotional, and like I said, this has to do with some sort of um, foundation or um, relationship. Um, and part of this is about reconciling and overcoming or having a victory. Um, for others of you guys, this is moving um, away from something here. But yeah, someone is definitely waiting on you. Um, you know, they want to know where you stand. And this person is saying, I don't want to be out in the cold or I don't want to have you out in the cold. I just need to know where you stand. Someone wants to get on the same page before they make a decision. Yeah, you definitely someone's saying they want freedom. This could be you. You're wanting to free yourself. Um, what is this eight of swords? This is definitely karmic. Yeah, eight. So we have two eights. So this is definitely karmic. There's a contract involved here. So someone's saying, yeah, seven to the eight of pentacles. This is a relationship. This is definitely a relationship. Yeah, there's that indecision at a crossroads. Third party. Yeah. Someone wants to collaborate. Someone's like, okay, let's work on this. Let's try to make this work. And here's the other pinnacle here. And that's stability. Someone's like, we can rebuild this. Let's try it. And you're like, right, because they want to heal it. And they definitely, wow. Whoever this is, they definitely want a new beginning. Ace of Wands, Ace of Swords, and the Fool. Yeah, they want to start over. They want a second chance. So someone's literally begging you. And this could be you, okay? We have the Ace of Pentacles and the Lovers. We have the World Card in Reverse. Oh, there's an ending. But this ending, it says everything's fine. The worst is over. The worst is behind you. So, yeah, you guys can come to an amicable solution. For some of you guys, the solution is to end a situation. That is the decision. This is you wanting this new beginning. This is you wanting to take this leap of faith towards something new. You have a change of mind. You want um, a new experience. You know, whatever you went through in the past, you don't want that anymore. Um, you ha you. This is your rebirth. This is you grasping at a new beginning to have a new life or a new experience. Um, because the one you had before, it, it made you feel trapped. You healed. Some of you guys, this is definitely healing a connection. This is a rebirth of a connection that you almost lost. This is very beautiful. This is a very beautiful reading because you're getting exactly wow the will of fortune in reverse let's put a um let me pull from my um tarot deck from the orishas clarify the will of fortune in reverse what does this represent is this going to be ace of wands yeah there was a block here in reverse oh the outcast so what they're saying is you kept recycling uh, um some sort of experience, right? There was a repeating of a lesson. And it was delaying a new beginning because there was a energy here of not trusting or having faith here. You were stuck in the past, but now you're moving forward with the eight of wands here. There's fast movement after some sort of communication. There was conflict here. And this is because you were conflicted on 
um, whether you should take this leap of faith or not, but you're definitely going to. But you're going to have to sever um, something or in uh, this energy here of being conflicted or being egotistical or too prideful. Um, I see you pursuing your happiness here, whatever that means to you, whether this be reconciling or moving towards something new. You do have your eye on the future. You are concerned with... Uh, how you're going to experience your future and you're not going to experience it um, through suffering anymore, through confusion, through heartache. Um, you have been, it's very interesting because I feel like you've been um, going through this lesson over and over. Wow, and we have the Ace of Cups. I literally have all the Ace. Yeah, you went through some sort of enlightenment with the Hermit card. I literally have all the Aces here. Let's see. Let's pull from um, Archangel Raphael because I feel like you've been transformed. Whatever this is, you went through some sort of powerful healing. You may have dreamt about this. You may, may have dreamt about this. This Whoever this person is, you dreamt about this um, victory. Something is being resurrected. Death card reverse. Scorpio. Wow. So we have strong, strong Scorpio energy, or this is someone that there is a strong emotional attachment to. I'm going to throw one more card and then I'm going to pull from the um, Archangel Raphael healing oracle cards. I said one card. <laughs> one card for this King of Cups. Dang. Is this deck upside down? No, it's not. We have the Eight of Wands in reverse. Give me... um. Yeah, someone's coming back. Wow. So this is definitely a coming back around. These both. These are both eights. And, you know, if you, if you think about the number eight, it loops back around. You know, this is very... This is a past life soulmate entering here. And this is unfinished business. Yeah. Wow. You're being asked to let down your guard here. And and they're telling you to be open to receiving. Whatever that means for you. Alright. Do over time for you guys. That's beautiful. Um, let's see what Archangel Raphael has to say. In regards to the situation. Archangel Raphael. Please give us some guidance. For Gemini. Someone rising Venus and Jupiter. Wow, forgiveness heals. I can't make this stuff up if I wanted to. So you are healing a connection. Someone comes back. And the next card is stretch. And it says, Dear Archangel Raphael, thank you for staying by my side and motivating me to take excellent care of myself in all ways. Dear God and Archangel Raphael, I'm willing to forgive myself and others in exchange for what I really want. Peace and health. And that's what you're going to get. Wow. Beautiful reading, Gemini. That is your message. And I will talk to you guys soon. If you resonate with this, please comment in the comment section. Please let me know about your situation. Please like the video. Please share and subscribe if you haven't already done so. Please follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Um, I do post um, really funny memes. I do post um, inspirational guidance. And I do random readings there as well. All right. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.